climate dear students we all love to play outside but all the fun gets spoiled when it starts raining or if it gets too humid whenever we go outside our mother asks us to carry umbrella to save ourselves from rains thus weather plays a very important role in our daily life let us look at the sample weather report taken from the newspaper we may see that the weather report carries information about the temperature humidity and rainfall during the past 24 hours it also predicts the weather for the day humidity as you might know is a measurement of the moisture in air day to day condition of the atmosphere at a place with respect to the temperature humidity rainfall wind speed etc is called the weather at that place the temperature humidity and other factors are called the elements of the weather the weather of a place changes day after day and week after week that is why we often say today's weather is too humid or the weather was warm last week the records of the weather have been preserved for the past several decades these help us to determine the weather pattern at a place the average weather pattern taken over a long time say 25 years is called the climate of the place if we find that the temperature at a place is high most of the time then we say that the climate of that place is hot if there is also heavy rainfall on most of the days in the same place then we can say that the climate of that place is hot and wet in the tables given we have given the climatic conditions at two places in india the mean temperature for a given month is found in two steps first we find the average of the temperatures recorded during the month second we calculate the average of such average temperatures over many years that gives the mean temperature the two places are shimla and bengaluru by looking at tables we can easily see the difference in the climate of shimla and bengaluru we can see that bengaluru is very hot and wet in comparison to jammu and shimla which has a moderately hot and wet climate for a part of the year similar data for the western region of india for example rajasthan will be shown that the temperature is high during most part of the year but during winter which lasts only for a few months the temperature is quite low this region receives very little rainfall this is the typical desert climate it is hot and dry the northeastern india receives rain for a major part of the year therefore we can say that the climate of the northeast is wet the tropical rain forest the tropical region has generally a hot climate because of its location around the equator even in the coldest month the temperature is generally higher than about 15 degree celsius during hot summers the temperature may cross 40 degree celsius 
days and nights are almost equal in length throughout the year. These regions get plenty of rainfall. An important feature of this region is the tropical rainforests. Tropical rainforests are found in Western Ghats and Assam in India. Southeast Asia, Central America and Central Africa. Because of continuous warmth and rain, this region supports wide variety of plants and animals. The major types of animals living in the rainforests are monkeys, apes, gorillas, tigers, elephants. Let us read about the adaptations of these animals to a hot, humid climate. The climatic conditions in rainforests are highly suitable for supporting an enormous number and a wide variety of animals. Since the numbers are large, there is intense competition for food and shelter. Many animals are adapted to living on the trees. Red-eyed frog has developed sticky pads on its feet to help it climb on trees on which it lives. To help them live on the trees, monkeys have long tails for grasping branches. Their hands and feet are such that they can easily hold on to the branches. As there is competition for food, some animals are adapted to get food not easily reachable. A striking example is that of the bird toucan, which possesses a long, large beak. This helps a toucan to reach the fruits on branches, which are otherwise too weak to support its weight. Many tropical animals have sensitive hearing, sharp eyesight, thick skin and a skin color which helps them to camouflage by blending with the surroundings. This is to protect them from predators. For example, big castleons and tigers have thick skins and sensitive hearing. The lion-tailed macu also called beard ape, lives in the rainforests of Western Ghats. Its most outstanding feature is the silver-white mane, which surrounds the head from the cheeks down to its chin. It is a good climber and spends a major part of its life on the tree. It feeds mainly on fruits. It also eats seeds young leaves, stems, flowers and buds. This beard ape also searches for insects under the bark of the trees. Since it is able to get sufficient food on the trees, it rarely comes down on the ground. Another well-known animal of Indian tropical rainforest is the elephant. It has been adapted to the conditions of rainforest in many remarkable ways. It uses its trunk as a nose because of which it has a strong sense of smell. The trunk is also used by it for picking up food. Moreover, its tusks are modified teeth. They can tear the bark of trees that elephants love to eat. So, the elephant is able to handle the competition for food rather well. Large ears of the elephant help it to hear even very soft sounds. They also help the elephant to keep cool in the hot and humid climate of the rainforest. Animals in Polar Region Climate has a profound effect on all living organisms. Animals are adapted to survive in the conditions in which they live. Animals living in very cold, 
and hot climate must possess special features to protect themselves against the extreme cold or heat as examples of adaptation of animals to climatic conditions we will discuss animals living in polar regions and tropical rainforests the polar regions are situated near the poles that is north pole and south pole some well known countries that has polar regions are canada greenland iceland norway sweden finland alaska in usa and siberian region of russia the polar regions present an extreme climate these regions are covered with snow and it is very cold for most part of the year for 6 months the sun does not set at the poles while for the other 6 months the sun does not rise in winters the temperature can be as low as minus 37 degree celsius animals living there have adapted to these severe conditions let us see how polar bears and penguins have adapted themselves there polar bears have white fur so that they are not easily visible in the snowy white background it protects them from their predators it also helps them to catch their prey it protects them from extreme cold they have two thick layers of fur they also have a layer of fat under their skin in fact they are so well insulated that they have to move slowly and rest to avoid getting overheated physical activities on warm days is necessary for them to get cool so the polar bear goes for swimming as they are good swimmers its paws are wide and large which help it not only to swim well but also walk with ease in the snow while swimming under water it can close its nostrils and can remain under water for long durations it has a strong sense of smell so that it can catch its prey for food another well known animal living in the polar regions is the penguin it is also white and merges well with the white background it also has a thick skin and a lot of fat to protect it from cold you may have seen pictures of penguins huddled together this helps them to keep warm their bodies are streamlined and their feet have webs making them good swimmers